So today, we have Seb- Sebastian Castellanos from the Evil Within games taking on Leon Kennedy from the Resident Evil games. Who wins? Well, let's find out. So, as always, who is stronger? Well, Sebastian has overpowered people, easily break glass bottles over zombies' heads, push back zombies when they had all the leverage, and crush and smash body parts with his stomps, even skulls. He's easily shattered big wooden crates and metal chains with his punches, pried open elevator doors with his bare hands, sent a big metal stretcher thing flying with a kick, and easily one-shot at zombies with axes and torches. But, Leon has routinely uh, decapitated zombies and sent them flying back with his kicks. He too has pushed back zombies when they had all the leverage. He's held onto Ada Wong with just one hand, helped Helena move this massive boulder, and even physically pushed the mouth of this giant fish monster open while half of his body was inside of its big mouth. Yeah, Leon is stronger. Not by much, but yeah, he is stronger. Uh, what about durability? Well, before I get into that, I need to say this. I know Sebastian survived being yeeted like hundreds and hundreds of meters, and he landed right on a metal shard thing that pierced right through his chest and or stomach. Uh, this is more impressive than anything Leon has ever survived. <laughs> But you also have to remember that was in a virtual world, basically, not in real life. Granted, all of Sebastian's feats come from a virtual reality world thing. Uh, but the rest of his feats are much more believable. That that's just the, the one I just mentioned. That's insane. So that's not going to mention that one. That's definitely a high outlier, and not going to mention it. Uh, but. He did withstand having his leg cut by a chainsaw, being stabbed in the shoulder, being sent flying by a dynamite explosion, being sent flying by massive monsters, being slammed through a concrete wall, uh, and having his head banged against metal bars several times. He actually remained conscious through all of that and kept on fighting. But Leon has been through some crap over the years, okay? He was unharmed when he was in the mouth of that giant fish monster that I mentioned earlier. He walked off an airplane crash, attacks from B.O.W.s, and hits from Mr. X. He was sent absolutely flying, like hundreds of feet by Miller, and was just fine. He, was also, he also withstood being sent fl- flying by Saddler, and again, is just relatively fine. I'd say they're pretty even here. You know, they've both kept on fighting after taking hits from massive monsters. That's what I'm basing that off of. So yeah, I'd say they're fairly even. Now, moving on to speed. Well, Leon is very fast and agile. He's dodged a thrown knife, evaded gunfire more than once, and even outran a massive rolling boulder. He also reacted to and dodged several different laser configurations slash shapes moving at high speeds while in a small hallway. That's insane. Uh, He also has some insane parkour skills. But Sebastian dodged a flamethrower blast at close range, dodged a car flying at him that he couldn't see coming at the last possible second, and he was able to run a few feet and tackle Joseph before he could shoot himself. And Joseph already had the gun up to his head. Eh, I don't know who's faster, but Leon is definitely more agile. More mobile with his movements. movements. Uh, so physically, they're pretty close with Leon being slightly stronger and more agile. But what about skill? Well, both of them are skilled fighters. And Leon has come a long way from being that rookie cop in Resident Evil 2. He's a master martial artist, knife fighter, and marksman. He matched Krauser in a knife fight and later bested him, and Krauser was very skilled and superhuman. He bested Ada Wong in a brief fight and even held his own very well against a very pissed off Chris Redfield. 
arguably the best fighter in the Resident Evil universe. And after he saved the president's daughter in RE4, he became quite famous for his heroism and skills. But Sebastian was extensively trained as a cop and was a highly skilled and respected detective. He's an expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant and marksman. He easily bested and subdued two Mobius agents while very drunk. And even though we don't know how skilled these agents were, I'm sure they had some level of skill and training. And like I said, he was wasted. Uh, I think Leon is more skilled overall. But Sebastian is much older than Leon. So I think it's safe to say he does have more experience and more training. And for this fight, they'll both have their handguns and a knife. So, who wins? Well, the only real advantage Sebastian has is his experience. And although that is arguably more handy in a fight than raw skill is, Leon has more advantages like his strength, his agility, the raw skill, and he's even faster on the draw with his gun. He's not necessarily a better shot than Sebastian, but he's just faster. He can get his gun up and accurately hit a shot faster than Sebastian has, uh, is. Or at least, based off what they have shown us, Leon is faster. This is shown in Resident Evil Infinite Darkness show on Netflix when he outdrew Jason, who is a trained military general and was superhuman. And, and they both knew that they were about to shoot each other. Leon was just faster. And at the end of the day, yeah, I'm siding with Leon on this one. Leon wins. Sebastian is good. Leon is just better. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you think and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all that great stuff. Have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.